Welcome to the Physics Simplified channel. Today we will learn about the work energy theorem. After discussing the kinetic energy and potential energy, let's talk about the relation between the kinetic energy and the work done, which is known as work energy theorem. Work energy theorem states that the change in kinetic energy is equal to the work done on any object by net force that is W the work done should be equal to the change in kinetic energy. This is the mathematical statement. Now let us derive this with the help of the equation of motion which we have learnt in kinematics V square minus U square is equal to 2AS. Here we know that V is the final velocity, U is the initial velocity a is the acceleration and S is the displacement. Now let us shift this 2 to this side. Then half V square minus half U square is equal to A times S. Now if you multiply throughout by M, half M V square minus half m u square is equal to m a s. If you look at the left hand side, it is nothing but the change in kinetic energy because this is final kinetic energy and this is initial kinetic energy. And now if you look at the right hand side, it's nothing but force times displacement which is nothing but the work done. So we could prove the work energy theorem for a constant force. Here F is equal to ma and we considered that the acceleration is constant. So that means for a constant force we have derived the work energy theorem. Similarly in our next video we will derive the work energy theorem for a variable force.